When you learn from home, it's good to go to Mr. Means Music. Hello, and welcome to Mr. Means Music. Today we have something very special because we're going to have story time. But before we get started with story time, you know how we start. We're going to go back to our old warm-up. So everybody stand up. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoosh. Other way. Shoulder circles, here we go. One, count with me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arm circles. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, five E and a, six E and a, seven E and a, eight E and a, other way E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, five E and a, six E and a, seven E and a, eight E and up into the right. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. To the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twist. One and two and three and four and five and six. E and a, eight E and a, walk in place. And two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, five E and a, six E and a, seven E and a, eight E and a, head rolls one, two, count with me, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And shake it out. Freeze. And shake it out. Banana freeze. Shake it out. Dinosaur freeze. Shake it out. Monster freeze. Shake it out. And Superman freeze. And shake it out. Wonder Woman freeze and shake it out. And Spider Man freeze. Shake it out. Uh, Apple freeze. Shake it out. Okay, good job. And sit down. That was fun. Now let's see what's next. So today we're going to be reading a very special book to find out a little bit more about some of the students who may be in your class. But before we do, let's start with our vocabulary. And the vocabulary is found in the book today. It's found in what's called the glossary. The glossary is 
a list of words where we have the definition of them that are used in the book. The first word is Allah. It's a word for God in the Is Arabic language. It is the name for God in the religion of Islam and other religions in which Arabic is spoken. Arabic is a language. The next word is celebrate. To do something to show how special or important a day is. The next word is crescent. The moon's shape when it is just a thin curve in the sky. Some people say it's shaped like a sideways smile. The next word is decorate. Now we know what decorate means. It means to make something look fancy. The next words are Ed al-Fitr. Now Ed al-Fitr is a celebration after Ramadan is over. And this year Eid al-Fitr is this Saturday on May 23rd. The next word is fast. Now we all know fast to mean something that's not slow, but fast can also mean to not eat and sometimes to not drink for a period of time. The next word is holy. Holy is something that is special because it is connected to God or religion. The next word is Islam. Now this is an Arabic word which means to obey God. It is also the name of the religion of Muslims. The next word is Quran. Now the Quran is a holy book of Islam and it is also called Quran which is spelled Q-U-R apostrophe A-N. The next word is mosque. Now this sounds sort of like the word mask, which is something you might wear on your face if you're going to a party or if it's Halloween. But mosque is a place where Muslims worship. It is also called masjid. The next word is Muhammad. Now, Muhammad is the man who received the message from God in the religion of Islam, and these words became the Quran. Muslims consider him the last prophet, or a person who gets messages from God. The next word is Muslims. Muslims are people who follow the religion of Islam. The next word is Ramadan. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. You see, the word Ramadan is actually the name of a month. It is a time for fasting and being close to God and your family. The last word is religion. Religion is a set of beliefs in God or gods. Now, let's go ahead and start our story. The story is called Rashad's Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr. Rashad's Ramadan and Eid al-Fitr by Lisa Bullard. Now this is illustrated by Holly Cogner. And of course we remember that the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. This is a chapter book. So there are four different chapters in this book, and the table of contents tells us where each chapter begins. We'll start with chapter one. Where's the moon? I look and look at the night sky. Then finally, I see it first. It's Ramadan moon. Dad says, Rashad, your smile curves across your face just like that moon. Ramadan is the ninth month in the calendar used for Muslim holidays. Muslims are people who follow a religion called Islam. Ramadan is the most important month for Muslims. When it is near, they watch the night sky. They look for a new crescent moon. That moon means Ramadan starts tomorrow. My family celebrates Ramadan because we're Muslim. 
We believe in God, whom we call Allah. Dad says Ramadan is a time to get closer to Allah. The calendar for Muslim holidays follows the moon. That means Ramadan starts on a different day every year. Ramadan can happen during any season. This year, Ramadan ends and Eid begins this Saturday on May 23rd. Chapter 2, Thinking About Allah We get up early for breakfast. During Ramadan, mom and dad fast after the sun comes up. That means they don't eat or drink anything. Muslims believe that Allah wants them to fast for the month of Ramadan. Grown-ups fast between sunrise and sunset. People who are sick do not have to fast. Kids do not have to fast. But some practice. Some children go without eating for part of each day. Some kids fast for certain days of the month. Today, I'll be fasting too. It sure is a long time until the sun sets. Then we can eat again. Some nights, we go to the mosque. That's where we pray and hear people read from the special book. A man named Muhammad is very important to Islam. Muhammad lived about 1,400 years ago. That's 1,000. 400 years ago. Muslims believe he was given a message from Allah. Mus Muhammad began receiving these messages during the month of Ramadan. The messages became the Muslim holy book called the Quran. I look for the moon on those nights too. When it is fat and full, we're halfway through Ramadan. Chapter 3, Thinking About Other People We all try hard to be good this month. My sister and I don't even fight. We also give money and food to people who don't have enough. Caring for the poor is important to Muslims. That is one of the reasons that they fast. Fasting helps them understand how people feel when they go hungry. I've been watching the moon every night. Tonight, I look extra hard. There! It's the new crescent moon again. Ramadan is over. Tomorrow, we'll celebrate Eid al-Fitr. Muslim families do many things to get ready for Eid al-Fitr. They clean and decorate their homes. They make special treats. They get ready for a big feast. Chapter 4, The Big Celebration Early in the morning, I put on new clothes and shoes. We go to a big park with many other people. We all pray together. Many Muslims cover certain parts of their bodies in public. They dress this way to show respect to Allah. Dad says Muslims around the world have fun and feast for Eid. Sometimes there are carnival rides and games. We visit friends and family. People give me candy, presents, and money. Many Muslims take a day off of school or work for Eid. In some places, the celebration lasts for three whole days. It's a fun time, but it's also a time for giving thanks to Allah. I've decided I'm going to watch the moon all year. I know it will grow bigger and smaller many times. But finally, it will be that special night again. It will be time for another Ramadan moon. The end. Now, today I have a very special project for you. You don't have to be Muslim to participate in this project. You see, 
It's called making a moon can. Let's take a look at the instructions. You see, Ramadan is a time to think about people who do not have enough. People give food or money to the poor. They do this at the end of Ramadan or before the Eid al-Fitr prayer. They want everyone to be able to celebrate and feast during Eid al-Fitr. You can share what you have too. Make a moon can and use it to save money. Then you can donate this money to people who don't have enough to eat. Now here's what you'll need. An empty can with the top removed, something like a soup can, not a soda can. Dish soap, a sink, masking tape, markers or paint and paint brushes. Now here's what I would say. If you can't find a can, you can find a little container or a box and inside it, instead of putting money, maybe you'll put canned foods or anything that you can give. Here's how to make your moon can. Step one. Use the sink and dish soap to wash your can inside and out. Step two, let the can dry completely. Step three, use masking tape to cover the outside of the can. Step four, use a yellow marker or paint to make a crescent moon on your can. It will look like the one in the picture. Step five. You can also add some yellow stars around your moon. Step six. Color the rest of your can dark blue like the night sky. Here's another suggestion I would say. Maybe you can take a piece of paper and you can draw your crescent moon on your paper and you can color it yellow. You can then paint the rest of your paper a dark blue and you can even add little stars like the night sky. Then you can take that paper and you can tape it to a can or a box or something that you'd like to collect things in that you'd like to give to people who ha are less fortunate than you. You see, at this point, we're all going through so much with staying at home and people don't get to see each other. But I'm sure if you talk to your mom and dad about this, that they might be able to find a way to give something to some people who you care about. I hope you enjoyed today's story. I sure did. Now, remember to go back to Google Classroom and check to see if there are any questions for you to answer or if there's anything that I need for you to write for an assignment, okay? I really am glad that you joined me today and I look forward to seeing you next week on Mr. Bean's Music. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>